learn about Franks and Stretchers or did we go to them? We have uh, done some stretcher bar for uh, Philips, the auction house, okay. and they thought that they needed like really high quality stretchers, so they, they, they contact us and, and now we were doing them, but yeah. How did you decide um, on that frame? Because I find it so elegant, so so seamless, and also so so proper for a bus. Yeah. Um, so I, I designed the frame, knowing that I didn't want to show a lot of it. Mostly, it was something just to cover a little bit on the sides and not showing some of uh, some of the sides were a little short. Mm. So the you table the, the, the table the will fabric. show. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we cannot add. Uh, fabric to that and stuff like that. So I suggested, why don't we do like a very, very thin, elegant uh, floor frame? So that we did, we decided to do it aluminum, power coated, like super elegant, very seamless, and the corners are you know welded, so you don't see any any corner or any distraction. Like, and uh, also the fact that it's black, it just blends with the painting. It looks like really elegant, just complete the painting. Sure. What about Cholo and Pedro, our, our framers? I mean, they're artists too, and I could tell they were excited, but were they also like? Concern? You think they were scared? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they had some, you know, nervous going on. But they're they have they have so much experience. They do this, you know, for years and years. I don't know. Cholo probably had done over a thousand stretchings uh, at this time. So I think he, he felt very comfortable. I know the painting wasn't like super square anyway. So, but he managed to really pull it together. Everything fit really perfect. And for those that don't know about frames and stretchers, we also have we we've done quite a few real cool i you know we have a serra right mm -hmm. now richard serra that we're yeah, we doing them with some man costs uh, i mean we we have done a lot of different really exciting projects like we always we didn't we never know what's coming on on the door so we're very very uh happy and you know grateful for all this you know trust and i missed i missed your interview with roma but i know you were just up uh, <laughs> for a podcast right with roma yeah. with the director the president of roma after the pandemic he started researching and talking to by the way Roma is a is a, a molding uh, one of the company, most prestigious the, molding companies yeah. for framing so they were looking for framers to can share the experience how they they have been overcoming you know what happened with COVID and close and what what strategies we're doing and we had like a really great conversation yesterday sharing our experience with, with other peers <laughs> Está como está, está, mira, mira, tenemos el barquilla de aquí y esto está bien, bien cabrón. Este, Eric, Eric consiguió ese sí, guiso, lo, lo, ¿verdad? Lo tenemos bien organizadito. Vente, vente, pasa. Eric, mire, este, muchacho, vamos, vamos a mostrarle el barquilla de la libertad. ¿Qué pieza es esto? 1983, Story of Pizza. Wow. Oil on canvas. Esto era justo después que transicionando de Seymour a Bastiat. Uh -huh. yep. Exacto, que todavía está usando el, el la, de la Y la coronita y todo eso. Yo creo que un periodo excelente de transición. Sí, sí, esta es la transición exacta, que era Lower East Side puro mm -hmm. en esa época. Aquí. Wow. Never seen this. this. I had never seen this piece of this. No. Wow. Yo no, no creo que ha sido mucho publicado. <laughs> 